Welcome to our Toronto. Today we are going to take a look at the history of the TDC 7 Bathurst bus route. On July 1, 1954 the newly formed Toronto Transit Commission takes responsibility for all transit service within the new municipality of Metropolitan Toronto, replacing services that were previously operated by four private bus companies. This includes the old Bathurst route to Shepherd Avenue operated by Danforth Bus Lines. On this date, a new branch is established on the TTC's Bathurst bus operating from Vaughan Loop via North on Bathurst and West on Shepherd to a loop at Wilson Heights Boulevard. In addition, some short-turn trips are operated north to Wilson that loop via North on Bathurst, West on Wilson, Southwest on Richelieu, North on Stadacona, East on Wilson and South on Bathurst. The existing route between Street Clare and the Glen Cairn, Dufferin intersection is now operated as part of the TTC regular network, and the contract with the three local municipalities, York North York and Forest Hill, ends. The southern part of the Bathurst bus, south from the Bathurst, Lawrence intersection or west of the Glen Cairn, Beachmount intersection, near today's Allen Road, is now part of the TTC's central fare zone. Service beyond these points is in the first suburban zone. In addition, Shepherd buses enter the second suburban fare zone at York Downs. November 29, 1954. A new short-turn service is established to Melrose, halfway between Lawrence and Wilson, operating all day Monday through Saturday, except during the afternoon peak period. These buses loop via north on Bathurst, east on Melrose, south on Bars West on Marmion and south on Bathurst. During the afternoon rush hour, short-turn service loops north of Wilson via De Quincey, Allingham, Almond and Chelsea. Note that Chelsea is an old street name and we are unable to match it to a current street name. February 20, 1955. Sunday service is now operated on the Melrose branch. A new short-turn service is established to York Downs, operating during rush hours only, replacing the morning rush hour service to Melrose and the afternoon rush hour service to Wilson. Buses on this new branch loop via north on Bathurst, east on York Downs, south on Armour Boulevard, west on Newberry Lane and south on Bathurst. July 11, 1955. York Downs, buses are extended one block north to a new off-street loop at the southwest corner of Almore and Bathurst. Buses run counterclockwise through the loop. July 1, 1956. Suburban fare zones 1 and 2 are merged into a single fare zone, removing the zone boundary at York Downs. All service north of Lawrence and west of Beachmount is now in suburban zone 1. September 7, 1956. Service is assigned route number 7. February 18, 1957. Express service is introduced on the Shepherd branch during rush hour. These buses operate as a local service between Lawrence Avenue and the Shepherd, Wilson Heights intersection. South of Lawrence, buses stop only at Glencairn, Eglinton, Street. Clare and Vaughan Loop. June 29, 1957. This is the last day of service on the 7C Melrose branch. It is replaced by an improvement in service on the main branch to Shepherd at most times. This change was originally made as a seasonal change but was made permanent in the fall of 1957. February 2, 1959. A new rush hour service is established, extending trips north of the Shepherd wilson Heights intersection into the Bathurst Manor neighborhood. Buses operate over the normal route to Shepherd and Wilmington and then operate via north on Wilmington, west on Overbrook and south on Wilson Heights, returning via east on Shepherd. This service runs express south of Lawrence Avenue, essentially replacing the 7F branch of the route. September 14, 1959. Service to Wilmington in the Bathurst Manor area is expanded to include middays, Monday through Friday as well. During this period, buses operate as a local service over the entire route. August 2, 1960. A new Monday through Saturday daytime service is established to serve the new residential areas on Bathurst north of Shepherd Avenue. Buses on the 7J branch operate from St. Clair to Shepherd and beyond to Finch, looping via east on Finch, south on Muirkirk and west on Yorkview. In addition, Saturday daytime service is added to the Wilmington branch. Scheduled service on the 7E branch to Almore Loop, just north of York Downs, ends at this time. 
January 29, 1961. Sunday service, beginning approximately at 10 a.m., is introduced on the Wilmington and Finch branches. Evening service is now provided seven days a week on both branches, until 1 a.m. The Seven Shepherd branch operates only on early Sunday mornings, before 10 a.m. October 16, 1961. Service is extended north of Finch to a new off-street loop on Bathurst just north of Patricia, one block north of Drury. Buses loop counterclockwise through this loop. August 21, 1964. Drury service extended north to Steeles, looping counterclockwise around the triangle formed by the new and old Bathurst Street Road alignments. November 1, 1964. Glencairn service is extended west from Dufferin to Caledonia, looping via north on Caledonia, east on Glen Park and south on Lansdowne. December 31, 1964. Due to poor road conditions, the Glencairn Caledonia looping is changed to operate via south on Lansdowne, west on Tycho's, north on Caledonia and east on Glencairn. This routing became permanent on April 1, 1965. February 26, 1966. With the opening of the Bloor Danforth subway, service is extended south of Vaughan Loop to Bathurst Station, replacing a portion of the Bathurst streetcar. The main branch of the Bathurst bus now operates between Bathurst Station and the existing loop at Steeles Avenue. This branch operates express south of Lawrence Avenue during rush hours, with stops both ways at Glencairn, Eglinton, Street. Clare and DuPont. Service on Wilmington is operated during rush hours as a local service, while at other times buses operate to the off-street loop at Shepherd and Wilson Heights. New service on Wilmington and Overbrook is provided by an extension of the 29 Dufferin bus. A new peak period short turn service is established from Bathurst Station to Lawrence Avenue, looping via west on Lawrence, north on Brucewood, east on Covington and south on Bathurst. A new overnight bus service is established running between Street, Clare Avenue and the Exhibition, replacing night service on the Bathurst streetcar. At the south end buses loop via west on Fleet, west on Lakeshore, north on Strawn and east on Fleet. At the north end buses loop via northwest on Vahan, east on St. Clare and south on Bathurst. Vaughan Loop is closed. March 27, 1966. Night bus service now provided on Sunday mornings until the subway opens at 9 a.m. April 23, 1967. The Steeles Loop is revised to operate via North on Bathurst Street, the new alignment, not the street now known as Carpenter, East on Steeles, South on Village Gate, and West on Greenwind Village. May 11, 1968. The hours of service to Wilmington is increased to seven days a week, 18 hours a day, replacing the 7C, Shepherd. Service on the 7A, Glencairn, branch is replaced by an extension of the 14 Chaplin bus. April 26, 1970. The Steels loop is revised to operate via north on Bathurst, west on Steels and south on Old Bathurst, today known as Carpenter. January 21, 1973. The zone fare system within the boundaries of Metropolitan Toronto is eliminated on this day. On the Bathurst bus route, the zone boundaries on Bathurst at Lawrence, and on Glencairn at Beachmount are removed. March 30, 1974. The 7E Wilmington branch is replaced by a new branch of the 84 Shepherd West bus, and by the new 7C branch that operates between Bathurst Station on Shepherd. 7C buses loop via east on Shepherd, north and west on Canyon and south on Bathurst. This branch operates until 9 p.m. Every day, the Steels loop is also revised and now operates via west on Fisherville, north on Old Bathurst, now known as Carpenter, east on Steels and south on Bathurst. Short turn 7B service to Lawrence ends. Note, it is not known when the express peak period operation of the main Steels branch ended. We believe it occurred coincident with the extension of the Young Subway to Finch Avenue on this date. November 24, 1974. The Steels Loop is now operated via east on Greenwind Village, north on Village Gate, west on Steels Avenue and south on Bathurst. January 28, 1978. Coincident with the opening of the Spadina Subway, the Bathurst bus is restructured. 
Three separate branches now operate during all regular hours. One operates from Wilson Station via Wilson and Bathurst to Steeles, another operates from St. Clare West Station via West on St. Clare and North on Bathurst to Steeles and a third operates from Bathurst Station via North on Bathurst and West on Wilson to Wilson Station. August 15, 1979. The route is restructured to restore through service on Bathurst Street from Bathurst Station to Steeles. The 7A and 7B branches are discontinued, replaced by new 7C, Steeles Bathurst STN, and 7E, Wilson STN, Street. Clare West STN, Branches. November 22, 1980. At the request of the town of Vaughan, some 7, Wilson STN Steeles, buses are extended north of Steeles via Bathurst, to a new off-street loop at Arnold Avenue. This extension operates Mondays through Saturdays until around 6 p.m. This does not affect route signs. Buses operate with a seven-branch exposure with window cards reading, Arnold Avenue. Vaughn is responsible for the operating deficits of the portion of the route operating north of Steeles. An extra fare is required to travel north of Steeles and, once paid, transfers are available to Vaughn Transit buses. Vaughn becomes a city in 1991. The contract is transferred to the region of York in 2001. May 23, 1982. The Steeles Loop is revised to operate via north on Bathurst, west on Fisherville, north on Carpenter, east on Steeles, south on Village Gate, west on Greenwin Village to Bathurst. June 26, 1983. The Arnold Avenue branch is extended north on Bathurst to loop via east on Highway 7B, Center Street, south on Atkinson and west on Clark to Bathurst. It is finally given its own branch designation. September 2, 1984. Service on the 7E branch between Wilson Station and St. Clair West Station is reduced to peak periods only. February 9, 1987. As part of the TTC's expansion and rebranding of night service across metropolitan Toronto, the 7D overnight branch between St. Clair Avenue and the exhibition is renamed 310 Bathurst Blue Night. In addition, new night service is established on Bathurst north of Lawrence on the 314 Dufferin Bathurst Blue Night. 7D and 7F branches continue to operate between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. early Sunday mornings. Early evening service is added, Mondays through Fridays, on the 7G Highway 7B branch, in place of service on the 7 Wilson STN Steels branch. March 15, 1987. Sunday morning service from the exhibition is now designated as part of the 310 Bathurst Blue Night Bus, officially retiring the 7D and 7F branches. July 26, 1987. The Highway 7B loop is expanded with buses running north on Bathurst beyond Highway 7B and then east and south on Atkinson and west on Clark to Bathurst. Sunday daytime service is added to this branch. February 8, 1988. All midday service from Wilson Station now runs past Steeles to Center Street on the 7G branch, in place of buses on the 7, Wilson STN Steeles, branch. February 6, 1989. During rush hours, buses from Wilson Station to Steeles Loop via west on Fisherville, north on Torsdale, west on Steeles and south on Bathurst. At all other times, and on other branches, the loop at Steeles remains as before. Destination signs are not affected, though, via Torsdale, window cards may be used. September 4, 1990. Service on the 7 and 7G branches are separated into the new 160 Bathurst North Route. January 3, 1993. With the closing of Davenport Garage, operation of this route is consolidated at Wilson Garage. May 7, 1995 to September 2, 1995. Service on the 7E branch is extended east of St. Clair West Station via Street. Clair Avenue to St. Clair Station on the Young Subway during rehabilitation of the streetcar tracks within Street. Clair West Station. Buses do not operate into Street. Clair West Station and instead serve the station outside the fare paid area. February 16, 1997. The main 7C branch is rendered accessible using lift-equipped Orion versus CNG buses on all off-peak and most rush-hour trips. 
June 19, 2005. Buses on the main, Bathurst STN Steels, branch are now equipped with bike racks. June 24, 2007. The 7A, Street, Claire West STN Wilson STN, branch is now made accessible using low floor buses. These new buses are also bike rack equipped. All runs on 7 Bathurst now use accessible buses. March 30, 2008. 7 Bathurst service is split into two branches at St. Clair West Station due to major construction projects on the route. During this period, streetcar tracks on Bathurst are rebuilt from St. Clair to just north of Bathurst Station, and there is a major rebuilding of the roadway through the Canadian Pacific underpass just north of DuPont. There is also ongoing work on the St. Clair streetcar right-of-way. The split-in bus service is designed to provide more reliable transit service north of St. Clair, while service south of St. Clair is subject to narrowed roadways. Service to Wilson Station is suspended during this construction period. June 21, 2009. As roadway construction at the CP underpass nears an end, through service on the route resumes between Bathurst Station and Steeles. The 7A peak period service between Wilson Station and St. Clair West Station is cancelled on a permanent basis. December 20, 2013. Service on 7 Bathurst begins using the new Nova BUSLFS low floor articulated buses on some runs. March 30, 2014. All weekdays runs on 7 Bathurst now use low floor articulated buses. Regular buses continue to appear on weekends. Also, at the time of this writing, the 7C, St. Clair West STN, Steels, branch continues to exist as occasional short turns in the peak periods. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and if so don't forget to give it a like. Please consider subscribing if you have not already and watching some of the other transit videos about Toronto and the TTC. Until next time, happy transiting.